Hello everyone. Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Guten Tag zusammen. I'm pleased to join you by video today to announce the exciting virtual programming that Canada has in store for this year's special edition of the Frankfurt Book Fair. Tout d'abord, je tiens à remercier encore une fois et de tout cœur les organisateurs et les pays invités d'honneur, l'Espagne, la Slovénie et l'Italie. Vous avez travaillé en étroite collaboration avec nous dans un esprit de solidarité pour trouver une entente sur le report, en 2021, de la présence en personne du Canada à titre d'invité d'honneur. En tant qu'auteur de trois livres, je suis particulièrement heureux de voir ce projet se réaliser malgré la COVID-19. D'ici là, nous sommes ravis de pouvoir vous donner un avant-goût de la littérature et de la culture canadienne avec la programmation engageante et interactive que nous avons con concoctée pour la manifestation virtuelle de cette année. Canada is a vibrant and growing multicultural society. The theme for Canada's Guest of Honor year is singular plurality. This theme expresses our view that both our similarities and our differences are our strength, and they are woven into the very fabric of our nation. That spirit comes alive in Canadian literature, which is bursting with new voices and unique perspective that are all part of the diverse backgrounds that represent Canada. This is our singular plurality, and we want to share it with the world. À la foire de 2020, grâce à la contribution de nos partenaires fédéraux des provinces et des territoires, le Canada offrira plus d'une vingtaine de rencontres littéraires et culturelles, autant de vitrines sur les auteurs, les illustrateurs et les artistes qui expriment ce qu'est le Canada avec la créativité, talent et perspicacité. Le volet littéraire de notre programme virtuel met d'ailleurs en lumière les auteurs et les illustrateurs canadiens. Across several separate virtual events, nine authors and illustrators from different regions throughout Canada will explore some of the most relevant themes in contemporary Canadian literature. Their discussions will examine the role of the author in helping us, as individual and as a society, face crisis and despair through resistance, empathy and insight. Programming will also discuss how individual identities can affect a writer's work shape a reader's response and determine status in the literary community. A group of some of Canada's most successful author-illustrators will also explore the vital interplay between words and images and how they affect the ways we tell stories. Le Canada a toujours été ce vaste territoire où s'unissent les populations malgré les grandes distances. Dans cette optique, nous sommes très heureux de partager avec vous une compilation d'artistes canadiens, dont la pianiste Alexandra Streliski, l'artiste hip-hop Via Mighty, l'auteur-compositrice-interprète Lila Gilday et plusieurs autres. Je suis également très fier de vous dire que notre programme virtuel vous donnera l'occasion de découvrir quelques-unes des nombreuses variantes régionales uniques des arts et de la culture au Canada grâce au contenu en ligne de nos provinces et territoires. Learn about Yukon's indigenous artists in journeys to Odaka or the maritime culinary delights of Devour Festival. Discover the unique perspective of Francophone indigenous poetry at the Poesy Festival in Berlin. These are but a few of the experiences that will be on offer from Canada. Je tiens à vous dire encore une fois combien nous sommes ravis de pouvoir participer à la Foire du Livre de Francfort 2020 et de mettre en vitrine la littérature et la culture canadienne au moyen d'une programmation virtuelle engageante et interactive. Ce sera le début d'un effort de promotion de la littérature, des arts et de la culture du Canada en Allemagne tout au long de l'année un effort qui mènera notre participation en personne à titre d'invité d'honneur tout au long de 2021. For now, I hope that you will enjoy what we have in store for you at this year's virtual event and that it whets your appetite for much more to come in 2021. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, liebe Freunde de Canada, dear media representatives in Canada and Germany. It is an honor to welcome you today to this virtual press conference and to share some great information about Canada's presence at the 2020 special edition of the Frankfurt Book Fair. You have heard Minister Guilbeault speak about what Canada is going to present at the Frankfurt Book Fair this year. And you will hear from Herr Jürgen Boos, the director of the Book Fair, how much he counts on the inspiring role that Canada can play as guest of honor. And I can tell you that it is a pleasure to work with uh, Jürgen and his team, because indeed Canada is determined to be a great guest of honor. And I will tell you one reason why. The pandemic has left many people in isolation around the world. 
but we are always less alone with a good book. These difficult times highlight how much literature and the arts in general are an essential ingredient of life. This is one of the key reasons why Canada, this fall, and even more next year, will do everything to make available its rich literature and its diverse cultural expressions as part of the Frankfurt Book Fair. When you are invited as a guest of honor to what is by far the biggest book fair in the world, you don't miss this golden opportunity. And Canada will not miss it. We have so much to offer from our singular plurality of experiences and stories that we want to share. La qualité de notre présence virtuelle cette année est appuyée par une formidable équipe au Canada. Je veux souligner l'apport de patrimoine canadien, du Conseil des arts du Canada et celui du Com Comité Canada FBM 2020, dont Mme Caroline Fortin nous parlera plus tard dans sa présentation. Je souhaite également me joindre au ministre Guilbeault pour exprimer nos sincères remerciements aux trois pays qui ont accepté de reporter d'une année leur présence à titre d'invité d'honneur à la foire, l'Espagne, la Slovénie et l'Italie. Voilà vraiment trois amis du Canada, solidaires en ces temps de pandémie. Entonces, muchas gracias. Vala, vam, gratie mille. Let our 2020 virtual presence be a showcase of Canada's future contribution to the fair in 2021. Following the announcement by the minister, Minister Gilbo, I would like to highlight five exciting events that will take place physically in Frankfurt. Du next wird am 25. September im Frankfurter Kunstverein die Ausstellung Face Shifting Index des berühmten Kün Künstlers Jeremy Shaw eröffnet, die bis zum 24. Januar läuft. Zweitens, was könnte in unserem aktuellen Kontext relevanter sein als eine Ausstellung über das Wissen der Kommunikation? Ab dem 14. Oktober wird Global Warning Marshall McLuhan und die Kunst. Bis zum 31. Januar nächsten Jahres im Museum für Kommunikation in Frankfurt ausgestellt. Drittens feiert das Weltkulturenmuseum vom 7. bis 21. Oktober die First Nations Künstler und Künstlerinnen Megan O'Brien, Tom Hunt, Christy Lee Charles und Diana Helson mit einer Ausstellung und einem Film mit dem Titel Let Them Speak. Viertens wird das Künstlerhaus Mussenturm seine reine mit Schwerpunkt auf interdisziplinären Einsätzen in der zeitgenössischen kanadischen Kunst, Kunst fortsetzen. Das Node Festival für digitale Kunst Frankfurt wird mit MUTEC Montreal's Festival für digitale Kreativität und elektronische Musik zusammenarbeiten. Ausschließen wird das Stück All the Sex I Ever Had des Kollektivs Mammalian Diving Reflex aus Toronto mit Senioren inszeniert. Fünftens, last but not least, seit die renommierte Schirnkunsthalle ab Februar nächsten Jahres erstmals in Deutschland Magnetic North eine Ausstellung über besaubernde 
kanadische Landschaft mit modernen Meisterwerken kanadischer Sammlungen. Was unsere Präsenz auf der virtuellen Buchmesse betrifft, möchte, möchte ich Sie zusätzlich zu dem von Minister Gilbo skizierten Programm einladen, einige spannende Inhalte zu verfolgen, die in Deutschland produziert werden. Ob beim digitalen Buchfest, wo Sie auch die Gelegenheit haben, kanadische und norwegische Autoren und Musiker zu beobachten, die durch Worte und Musik zusammen jammen oder auf dem blauen Sofa mit kanadischen Autoren sowie mit Jürgen Boss und mir. Sie werden auch über Kanada auf Art, dem deutsch-französischen Kultursender und natürlich auch auf unserer Botschaftsplattform hören, wo wir Deutschen übersetzen in 22 Videos eine Stimme geben werden, die über ihre Reise durch die Übersetzung bedeutender kanadischer Autoren sprechen. So, it's a real rendezvous with Kenyan culture. I'm very excited and I know, I hope you are too. I wish all of us a fantastic, successful and joyful fair. Thank you very much. Vielen Dank. Merci du fond du cœur. Und jetzt, lieber Jürgen, freuen wir uns von dir zu hören. Liebe Freunde, hello everybody, good morning from Frankfurt. I'd like to start with a quote today. We must be a beacon of hope, because if you tell people there's nothing they can do, they will do worse than nothing. That quote by Margaret Atwood, taken from the year of the flood, has come to my mind repeatedly this year, since we urgently need such beacons. When we met in January in Berlin for the Canada 2020 press conference, no one had the slightest inkling of what this year would bring. Canada had organized an extensive program of music, exhibitions and performances for 2020, which was to reach its literary high point at the book fair in Frankfurt. Due to the pandemic, it soon became clear that the program could not be realized as planned. After weeks of talks, it was possible to convince the next guest of honor, Spain, Slovenia and Italy, to delay their appearances by a year so that Canada could have a major presence in Frankfurt in 2021. I would very much like to thank all of those responsible in these countries for their cooperation and goodwill. Yet, there are a number of highlights we can already look forward to this autumn. Since Canada's authors cannot travel to Frankfurt this year, we will embark on a virtual journey to them. Our partners have put together an online program that will also be presented as part of Bookfest Digital. That gives us the opportunity to become acquainted with a number of Canadian writers virtually in their own environment. This evening, the exhibition Jeremy Shaw, Face Shifting Index, is opening at Frankfurter Kunstverein here in Frankfurt, the most recent and largest show by this Canadian artist. I really look forward to that. Programs showcasing Canadian culture will also take place on the German Film Institute and Film Museum at Massenturm, at the Communications Museum and at the Museum of World Cultures, yet another beacon of hope. Also our media partner, the television station Arte, will put a special focus on Canadian literature and culture in October, including daily events in the Festhalle during the week of the fair. And something I find particularly pleasing, German translations of more than 240 books by Canadian authors will be published by October of this year. It will include the titles that are set to appear next year that makes 277 books from 139 publishers. They provide a preview of our guest of honors diverse literary offerings. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to see you this year virtually 
and to see you next time here in Frankfurt. The Canadian book publishing industry is delighted to be part of this very special edition of the Frankfurt Book Mess. The pandemic forced us to adapt, but our goal remains the same, revealing our singular polarity on the world stage to better showcase our, our powerful Canadian writers and illustrators. This year will be an opportunity for us to virtually promote authors and illustrators from our literary delegation, as our physical presence in Germany has been postponed to 2021. The Canada FBM 2020 team, in collaboration with the Literary Committee, Canadian Heritage and the support of the Canada Council for the Arts, has developed a virtual literary programming that reflects the diversity and richness of our literature. Our proposal this year will take the form of many documentaries and will be structures around three themes. Hope against despair. We contain multitude and picture perfect. Our film crew met with authors in order to collect their thoughts in, on these themes. We are delayed, delighted to present you Catherine Hernandez, Izzy Ujan, Alex Olin, Guillaume Perrault, David Alexander Robertson, Jocelyn Saucier, Sidney Smith, Kim Tui, and Joshua Whitehead. The result will offer internet users a unique and intimate moment with these writers to be viewed for free on our platforms. Despite the context, Canada FBM 2020 still intends to meet its commitments and objective. One of these was the sale of rights leading to the translation of Canadian title into German. As of today, we are proud to announce that we have surpassed our initial goal. More than 200 Canadian titles have been translated since the launch of this project. Canada FBM 2020 is thrilled to continue its primary mission of actively promoting Canadian literature while contributing in increasing sales of Canadian books and rights on the German market. This year, join us online to celebrate our singular plurality.